I am really excited about this one. We are going to train with the most feared, most infamous, most intimidating trainer in all of Thailand. I've seen him train everywhere. He trains with a lot of really high level fighters like Super Pawn, but his main place is here in Bangkok, Thailand called Elite Fight Club. We booked a private with him. We're going to go test it out. He's known for very old school, hardcore pad holding where the pads hit back. He's not afraid to come at you, especially when you're getting tired, your hands are dropping, he'll start swinging. And he'll start tripping and throwing you, and lately he's added a lot of humor to it. A lot of like slapstick humor. It's been super entertaining to watch him train. I love watching his videos, and I can't wait to experience it myself. So I am really excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared, to be honest with you, I'm intimidated. But I am ready to go. Let's do this. Harder than it looks. I tried that in Denmark. I busted my butt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Well, there it is. One cool thing about it, it's right next to the BTS, the Sky Train that runs all throughout Bangkok. We're just close enough so that we can walk, but far enough for it to be a pretty annoying walk. It took us about 30 minutes and it's hot out of here. I'm already sweating. How are you feeling, Charlie? I'm feeling pretty hot and sweaty. <laughs> that sounded weird. I'm feeling pretty wet wild right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa! That dude almost hit us. Came out hot. Check out this building is in. It's like we're going in for a Muay Thai meeting. This is Charlie's, oh. this is Charlie's business suit. <laughs> It's kind of funky in this elevator. <laughs> the view you get from the 10th floor is so nice. We just got to the gym, a little bit of a hike, but the breeze up here feels so nice and the views are so rewarding. It's a gorgeous location. We got here a little bit early, so we're gonna sit around and wait for him to show up and just sit in our nervous anxiety. <laughs> Do I have dental insurance? We definitely bought a mouthpiece. This is gonna be the first time I've worn a mouthpiece in pad holding before. I'm putting on all my bandages so he takes pity on me. Don't forget your knee brace. I'm gonna put my knee brace, I'm gonna put a neck brace on, I'm gonna come out <laughs> with crutches. Say hi, Charlie. Oh. Well, hi. <laughs> well, we just wrapped up a warm up. It was quick, but it was intense. Now we're wrapping hands, getting our gloves and shins on, see what's coming next. But unfortunately, we're only allowed to film the pad work, which I didn't know, but I'm not mad at it. I totally understand. So, I will check in with you then. We just wrapped up some warm up, some technique and conditioning. I see his plan is good. It's tired than whoop up on it. <laughs> it was working. <laughs> now we're doing some pad work and we can film this. Apparently we're doing a round together first and then splitting up and doing one by one after. That should be kind of fun. You're gonna whoop us both at the yeah, same time. Easily. partner pads and that was one heck of an experience I'm not gonna lie that I've never done anything like that before that was crazy can't believe you can hold pads like that that is <laughs> I, I would not want to try that man probably knock me out <laughs>
<laughs> All right, we just did another round of two at the same time. It was a lot of fun. Now we're going to individual pad work. I'm looking forward to this. And you just cannot beat this view. The breeze feels so nice, man. Great atmosphere. I look pretty intense. Hopefully you got tired of whooping our butt after Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy on me. <laughs> what do you think, Charlie? Defend yourself at all times, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fun, but man, I gas early. My <laughs> conditioning is not where it needs to be. I have bad cardio. <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up our session. Man, he is intense. Hitting pads with him is like hitting a rock. Yeah. He was not impressed by my power at all. He was very disappointed with my condition and he will let you know. <laughs> he definitely comes from a pretty hard background. He's very stern, very old school. What do you think, Charlie? Definitely get some training in before you sign up for this. If I came like fresh out of Phuket, it would have done a lot better. I haven't been able to train as much here in Bangkok and it shows in the pad holding right now. We have been shooting a lot because we're not in Bangkok very long. There's a lot of stuff to do and we haven't been really getting much training in. He focused a lot more on the basics. He, he definitely emphasized balance a lot than just learning flashy advanced techniques which I appreciate and agree with and uh, yeah it's time to get in shape <laughs> yep I second that sentiment I wanted to talk a little bit about his history because he does have a really cool story. He had his first fight when he was five years old and he only got 20 baht, which is not even a dollar. He didn't win, but he loved it and he continued to fight. But unfortunately, when he was around 20 years old, he broke his leg and that stopped his career. He moved out to the mountains and became a monk for 10 years. And eventually he got back into Muay Thai and now tries to live vicariously through some elite fighters that he trains and tries to make them into the big name that he never had the opportunity to try to become once he broke his leg. Muay Thai is an avenue for a lot of people in Thailand to try to, to honestly make money. That's what he did in the beginning to do. He saw a lot of champions. He said he just wanted food in a shirt. So that's how he got into it. Muay Thai is a way to pull themselves out of poverty. Even though a lot of his Instagram videos contain a lot of slapstick humor, he was not there to joke around. 
He wanted to work hard and work the old school way. And I respect that and I can see the utility, especially if you're getting ready for a fight. It is a little bit different than, than I was expecting to be honest, but, but I respect it and I, I still had a good time. And before I forget, for two people for an hour and a half, it was 3,600 baht, which the normal private lesson was around 1,000 baht. We're actually doing a private with Sanchai next week, who's one of the greatest, if not the greatest Muay Thai fighter of all time that we are really looking forward to. But I'm getting off track. Overall, just make sure you know what you're getting into. Come in shape and, and bring a mouthpiece. We definitely underestimated how hardcore he was. When you go there, you go to train and you're not there to have a good time. You were there to get ready for war. You defend yourself at all times, keep your mouthpiece in. There was a couple times when I was like, I went to go ask a question, the next thing I knew, like a, a mitt was coming. I was like, oh my gosh. I would advise to make sure that you master the basics before you start planning a private lesson with him. Make sure you're really polished, really good to go, solid intermediate level Muay Thai fighter and defend yourself at all times. My leg hurts, he got me good on my left leg and I felt it walking all the way home. That is one of the top trainers here in Thailand and in Muay Thai. It's an incredible opportunity to be able to do this and I'm very thankful. And one last thing I wanted to say, when you hit pads with him, the biggest difference is it feels like you're kicking like a padded pole. Holy moly. It was humbling. Yeah, he was solid as a rock, dude. When I was hitting him hard, he was like, power. I was like, what? I thought that was power. <laughs> He's very good at holding pads. Credit, credit where it's due. He's good at what he does. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna link the playlist, all our Thailand videos underneath. Either way, if you made it this far, thank you for watching.